What if I have no inner life? What if it is all external? Existential crisis. Oh my God. My name is Lucy Christian and I'm a voice actress. I think about 19 years, 20 years. That can't be true, but I think it is. Kaname and Full Metal Panic. That was my first lead role ever. And everything came from it. Duck and Princess Tutu. Miss um, Yukari and Azuman Gadayo. And Sashi and Magical Shopping Arcade Abinabashi. I'm Reg in um, uh, Made in Abyss. I'm Hestia in um, Don Machi. Or is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Um, and about, you know, 300 more titles, give or take. I grew up in Texas. And I say Texas because I grew up all over the state of Texas. My dad was a football coach and high school football coach. And so if you know about high school football in Texas, you understand that we moved every year or two most of my life. And uh, so I had lived in, I think it was 15 towns by the time I graduated from high school and uh, something like that, like something crazy like that. My best subjects in school were English. I was in English honors because of course I was, but I was, I was in like, they didn't have remedial math because I went to like tiny schools. So there wasn't enough people to have like a separate math class, but I, I like copied off of my friends in math because trigonometry, why, why? I don't know. My kids think, I think they think my job is cool. Uh, now, um, they use it sometimes to be like, hey, my mom is, is this character. And they, they take all of my little tchotchkes that I get at conventions and they're all on their book bags. So they're walking around with, um, they don't know that some of the characters are maybe not on the savory side. But they're on their book bags in elementary school. <laughs> oh, I know exactly which show I would show my kids because I am showing it to my kids. Princess Tutu was the first show I ever loved that I worked on and I was invested in it and I loved it. And I cried at the end. And now I am watching it with my kiddos. And my daughter, my oldest daughter, cosplayed as Tutu at a convention this summer, and I was very proud. Also, I made that. I made that costume. I skip it, usually. I hate to say that. But my um, ideal breakfast is like dessert. I like pancakes and waffles. <laughs> That's what I like. It's delicious. I know you're supposed to eat oatmeal and stuff like that to be healthy. I have only cosplayed one time in my life. And um, what I learned from that is that it is time consuming and expensive and hard to get it right. And like this. This is how I am to cosplayers now. And I only did it the one time. Not that I wouldn't do it again, but I just haven't yet. But don't count me out. Hestia is bestia. Hello. Gosh, you guys. <laughs> I can probably drink more Topo Chico than all of you in a single sitting. Just saying. Oh, you want to go at it? <laughs> Fight me. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Topo Chico.
chocolate? My answer will always be chocolate to any of that. It's just, it's not going to be like matcha or something fancy. Forget it. Chocolate. There is a show called Magical Shopping Arcade Abinabashi. I was a little boy named Sashi. And we never shut up. Me and Jessica Boone talked the entire show. It was very wordy. But one of my favorite memories was they're on this world and Sashi needs to go to the bathroom. And he walks to the edge of this planet world and drops like his, his fly and starts relieving himself off into the abyss. And it's this yellow liquid going off into the atmosphere. And his line is, oh, man, there's just something so sci-fi about pissing off into space. Watch Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? Because it's not wrong. Not wrong. Also watch Made in Abyss, except don't show it to your children, because then you will be paying that therapy bill. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you. You guys are the best. You guys are the best for watching this interview. I know I've stunned you. Yes, I'm not. <laughs>